Hello and welcome to another vlog style video. I think I should start numbering these so people actually know how to find them and realize they're a little bit different from my normal stream content. So first of all, thank you for watching and if you haven't seen my previous videos, well, please do go ahead and feel free to check them out. My name is Nemo and I will be talking a little bit today about my past experiences, sort of um, how I grew up and, you know, where did I grow up? A little, going into a little bit more detail because I get a lot of these kind of questions on the regular. So I kind of want to just explain to everybody what is the whole deal with my life. Okay, so to start off, I am born in China. I was raised there until I was three years old, after which I moved to France when I was around three, almost four. I stayed in France for about a year and then I moved to Finland and from there on I stayed a little bit longer until I was about 10 or 11. I uh, came to Canada, went back to Finland a few times, came back to Canada and I did, uh, I ended up doing all of my, most of my high school except for one semester in Canada and I did um, the three years that I spent in university in the University of Toronto as well. So a bit of a breakdown of my life. Around three years in China, one year in France, um, about seven to eight years in Finland, and the rest of that is in Canada. So I get a lot of questions like, hey, how did it feel to have moved around so much? You know, um, wow, you're really, really lucky to have had all these experiences, playing your tournaments, traveling around with your parents. And I have to say, yes, I am extremely, extremely, extremely grateful to have had all the opportunities I have had um, because obviously it has really like kind of enlightened me. I speak a, pretty much four languages almost completely fluently. Um, I have seen a lot of different cultures, I think, which made me a really open-minded person um, and just, you know, a lot of really great things, just being able to understand different cultures and just having a great knowledge of different uh, kind of people and traditions and all these kind of things. Um, and I think, I think the point of this video was for me to sort of not really debunk, but kind of say that it's not all perfect. It's not all as perfect as people think it is. And um, but that's not to say at all that I'm like, yo, I wish I never got that because that's not true. I'm really, really grateful to have had the opportunities I have had. It's just um, when you have been to so many places and when you have, you know, moved around so much at a pretty young age, um, basically what happens is that you don't really have solid roots. Uh, you don't really know where home is. I really struggled with my self-identity when I was younger. Um, I never knew to, if I should tell people I'm Chinese or if I'm Finnish or if I'm French. I'm like, like I, I or Canadian. I just don't know, right? Like when I was younger, I was like, uh, I mean, I was born Chinese. I was born in China, but culturally, I grew up in Finland and France and um, in more recent years, I mean, I've moved to Canada to pursue my, I moved to Canada to pursue my education, which of course I'm no longer currently pursuing, but that was the purpose in the first place. So I think when a lot of people say that, oh my God, I wish I was, uh, I wish I had the same chance as you. I think my point is to just, um, you know, there's, there's always, there's always something that can be better but I think it's important to just be kind of grateful for what you have and for me I'm very grateful but at the same time I mean I never really mm, I don't have childhood friends at all I don't have anybody I am like I have friends that I'm close to right now and I'm very fortunate for that but I don't have people who know like my entire life story I don't know what I mean. Um, I don't really have people that I can talk to and just be like, oh yeah, you remember what happened? Or like, do you understand? Like, people don't really necessarily understand why I might be the way I am now because of my past because nobody close to me really knows my past. They, they haven't really um, lived kind of with me. So that's a part that I think I struggled with a lot. 
And also, um, you know, I've been to probably 17 schools. And I don't even know how to explain this, but it's just like moving around um, leaves you with a sense of you just don't really belong anywhere, a sense of restlessness, which I think I'm fortunate enough to be like pretty good at making friends. I think I think I'm very lucky that wherever I went, I was able to make friends and I had people who supported me. But at the same time, you just never really felt like you belonged or you um, had a deeper connection with certain people because I mean, you know, some people have just known each other for years and years. And meanwhile, I'm I'm coming in. I've known them for like you know a day or two and. Um, so anyways, those are a lot of things that I struggle with when I was younger, when I was going to like middle school, high school, um, just never really having like the time or the ability to make these sort of deeper connections with people or just me feeling like, ah, but even if I make friends with somebody, right, I'm just going to move next year. So why does it really matter? Um, and I think that is just... That was just not like the healthiest way to be but at the same time obviously the trade-off is that i got to see a lot of amazing places i've been to 45 countries at the age of 21 like i'm so 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 lucky to be in my position um but at the same time it's not all rainbows and butterflies um but yeah i mean people like to ask me where i've been so a little bit more about all of that my favorite country that i've been to is south africa but the reason for it is because I won the World Youth Chess Championships when I was there. Um, that was in 2014, so that's why South Africa is my favorite place. I mean, I actually didn't see any of South Africa. Uh, when I got there, I immediately got sick. And I spent the next two weeks in the hotel, um, you know, just prepping chess, occasionally going for walks on the beach, which was really beautiful, of course, but I didn't really see anything apart from the beach, the hotel, or the playing venue. Um, so, I mean, with all of the trips that I've been on, probably one of the most memorable is Iran. And I went to Iran in early 2017, uh, so during winter. It was quite a different experience, I think, because it was just a very different culture. And, um, like... It was, it was just more different from all the other places I've been to because I've been to a lot of European cities, European countries, I mean, um, and North America, obviously. And I've been to, okay, I've been to South America once. I've only been to Brazil, which once again, I went to like a very touristy location. So I didn't really see much of the country. So even though I've been to a lot of different places, I didn't really get to experience anything different than what I could have experienced in Canada sometimes, you know, um, like even though I went to Brazil, I think my most memorable thing was going to a water park and I can go to water parks while I'm in Canada. So it's just like, even though I've been to a lot of different places, I didn't necessarily get to, um, experience the local culture, um, all that. But when I went to Iran, it was actually really nice because I stayed there for about a week and visited a lot of the different places in Tehran, uh, specifically got to talk to a lot of local people as well. Um, people at the tournament, some of my friends that were visiting me at that tournament as well. So I thought Iran was really cool because I actually got experience like the food and the people and the scenery and the, you know, places of the, the, there were a lot of different palaces and everything when I was there. Um, so, I mean, that was, that was probably one of my most memorable locations but yeah i mean um this was just a very short kind of answer to a lot of questions that people have on stream about like where i'm from where i've been um and of course as a final ending kind of note um i do want to go back to europe I, I say this a lot on stream. I did grow up in Europe, so that's where I think I am culturally. You see, I always use these words like think. I still don't quite know, you know, but I started worrying a little bit less about where I'm from and just working on like finding my roots now. Like the things in the past have already happened. You can't change that. So it's all about the friends and connections I make now. Um, so I do, I did 
live in Antibes when I was younger and that is where I want to eventually retire to, buy a summer home in. I don't know, it's it's pretty much where I want to eventually spend a lot of my time. So um, I definitely want to go back to Europe at some point. And of course, I really want to visit Poland and France and hopefully Finland once again. So yeah, that's a little bit about my kind of life with traveling and moving around so much. Um, I definitely feel like I have one of the more unique experiences and um, I totally understand why people are curious and why people want to know a little bit more about like, hey, what was it like? Hey, I wish, you know, um, I had that kind of experience when I was younger, but I do want to say uh, it wasn't always great. A lot of the times when I was younger, I used to regret actually you know, moving around so much. I mean, I used to cry a lot every time we moved because be like, new school, oh man, I have to leave all my friends behind. I have to like throw away a bunch of my stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, I used to be actually quite materialistic. I, I remember never wanting to throw away stuff, but now I don't really care anymore, which is also not very healthy. But, you know, I think it's just always what happens when you're younger kind of shapes you as a person as you get older. And sometimes you have to undo the things that sort of shape that. Um, but at least I'm aware of it. And I am kind of, I've talked to, you know, therapists and psychologists and all that stuff too. So um, there's always something I can work on mentally. And for me, it's just being, uh, you know, okay while being alone, um, especially during a pandemic, and also just realizing that, hey, you know, all that stuff happened in the past, just be really grateful for having had their opportunities and realizing that just because at 21, you don't have childhood best friends or like, you know, really, really close, a lot of close friends, like nobody really has a lot of close friends, but like don't really have people who understand where you come from that's okay you can you can make those connections now and i definitely used to feel like i would uh shut people out a little bit more because i'd be like ah nobody would really understand and it didn't matter anyways because i'd be gone next year but i think i'm starting to change that kind of mentality and it really helps actually because the internet is makes everything a lot more convenient now um so yeah, I mean, I'm doing a lot better and I just hope that this video will help people understand a little bit better about me, um, kind of where, my, where I come from. hope it also satisfies your curiosity about everything that happened uh, in the past. And also, you know, if you are thinking about moving or taking your kid somewhere or moving a lot with your kid, uh, just kind of what happens when that when you do that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't already, please do click the like button and also subscribe. I would like that very much. Thank you. And I hope you stay around, watch my streams and watch my other YouTube content.